in a realm far, far away, a mage was summoned. His name? How is it going you guys? Cat's Maniac back with another week of WoW Transmog stuff that I've been trying to accomplish all week. I've spent all morning and some of this afternoon fixing all these Excel sheets and trying to update them so that way they are, are looking great. Alright, so let's run through them and I'll explain how they work. So this is my YouTube stats page. As you can see, it's just every week, generally Saturdays, I will post these up and you'll see how far I am with everything collected. I did find out that as far as everything I do need, I need to collect about 1.2% of items in the game uh, a week in order to finish by next December. So we'll see. This is just, you know, obviously mounts and pets. So you can see I gained a few mounts. I lost a pet, so I don't know what happened there. Gained a couple toys, definitely gained some levels, and there's four raids that I went through and realized that I am completely done with unless they add, you know, they add something to it. So, as of right now, I gained 0.97% since last week. It's below what I need to complete this all by next year. But it's just the first week, so we're just going to see how it goes. Moving on to the next one. This is our Tuesday progress. Um, generally, I would do these on Tuesdays, but obviously now I'm just going to kind of stick it to Saturdays. So this is kind of just showing everything that I've accomplished this week for all the things. This is everything, all the things this tells me I'm missing in my account. So I've gained 1,470 pieces since uh, the end of October. This is the last time I did this. I need to gain 1,700 pieces a week in order to complete this by next December. I know what some of you are saying is, yeah, that's impossible. Sure. But let's say I can get 850 a week. And obviously with Dragonflight coming out, I know there's going to be a bunch of stuff added. But you have to also remember that there are some pieces that are looked at across many zones. So let's say there's a piece I can get from Draenor, it might be like 10 of those same pieces somewhere else. So just because I get one piece, it might count for like 11. So yes, 1700 seems crazy, and the fact that I got 1400 in a month makes it seem very impossible, but we're just gonna try. That's all we can, uh, that's all we can do, right? To the next one. Uh, this is our Raptor section. I will be getting into this a lot more soon. There's a lot of dungeons, raids, and uh, zones I have to complete, but with all the buffs coming out, I just I've been trying to level as much as I can. So I have finished Gruul's Lair, Mactheridon's Lair, I have Eternity and Ruby Sanctum. There's as of right now no reason for me to ever go back to these places. I'm very happy about that. Onward to raids. Okay. This I have not updated since it says like 1016, but it was not 1016. It was much, much before that. So what's today? The 26th? 27th? I don't even know. Anyway, this is not perfect. So what I did was I, I went on my mage, my druid, my hunter, and my warrior, and I found out what they needed, and then I just copied it to the other cloth, leather, mail, and plate guys for now. Next month I will update all of them, but updating 13 classes was just a bit much right now. And I just wanted to kind of get an idea. So as you can see, Molten Core, it says I need 104, but that's not really true because there's a lot of the same items for a lot of these and then as you get further down this is where you can see I've not touched especially Shadowlands and Crucible of Storms I don't even know much about it but I guess it's a very small raid like Trial of Valor maybe so this is the total there's 51,140 pieces that I need and again you have to remember that some of these pieces are shared so it's not going to be that it might only be like 20,000 pieces let's say Maybe, let, let's call it 40,000 to be, you know, better. But I'm just going to keep, keep track of all the raid items I need. I've been meaning to start Molten Core, but I just, with all the leveling I've been doing, I haven't. So, I think I'm probably going to figure something out and I'll, I'll plan it out for next week. But the goal right now with Dragonflight coming out in three days, I'm not trying to focus on old school. That's what's got me into all this trouble uh, the past eight years doing this. Is I keep focusing on old school stuff when new stuff is out, and you get stuff like this where I really started doing this, I guess right around like Draenor, and you can see I, I kind of fell off. I mean, I was doing Emerald Nightmare, I think I got all the way up to maybe Nighthold. I never did anything else. I've jumped into a few things, 
but that's why there's so many pieces I don't have because I just I never made it. So we have to fix that in order to do that. I have to get all four specializations up to level 70, and then you know attack Dragonflight. My friend is back playing, and him and I are gonna quote unquote have a competition to see who can collect basically all the things in Dragonflight. Um, we'll see how it goes. He's pretty competitive, which is great because I need someone to compete against to make me you know want to do this. Next. Excel sheet is our item count. I started this over six years ago. Um, when I started it, I had had 13% of the items in the game. I now have 36.5% uh, of items in the game. From January of 2021 to December of 2022, I have only gained 2.65%. So, I did the little math right here. At the rate I've been going since 2016, um, I am projected to get everything done in three and a half years. So we're gonna have to increase our uh, increase stuff on that. I did also look at the percentage of things I've gained. Everything I have gained somewhat of things, but there were a few, such as war glaives, uh, cloth headpiece, shoulders, wrists, you know, cloth legs, a lot of cloth pieces, which I was very surprised about because, like, you know, I'm I'm a cloth main. So whatever it was, and then uh, play shoulders. I think a lot of the reason that I had a lot of this is because I started playing other alts and doing stuff. So that was good. Uh, this is a dungeon and raid since, as far as other things go. So this is showing all the mounts, pets, and everything I need. As far as 2023 goes, I can get... I might be able to, you know, get a mount, two pets, a toy, a dungeon, and an outdoor zone done a day. Maybe. It's going to be hard to do. Leveling, that's where I'm kind of... I can get like three or four levels a day. I think that's very easy. So I'm gonna have to, you know, pick up on the pace with those. Um, as far as characters go, or I should say, with these, once I start Molten Core again, these are gonna start having numbers. So keep your eyes on that. As far as characters go, I have added a few of my guys. So anything in yellow is just classes I've not unlocked. So Mechanome and Kultiran, which I was gonna do, but I was like, you know what? Let's get some levels done because I don't want to, you know, risk anything. These are characters I just haven't made yet, so I will make them eventually. I have decided that I'm not going to make a priest or a rogue. Um, I just, I really don't like them. I, I, I do not like playing them. These are all the characters, as you can see. I now have like I think four or five level 60s. It's hard to tell because um, I changed up the conditional formatting on these to show anybody under 70, so it's not green. But I have a few level 60s, so I'm ready to go for the next expansion. And I was also just trying to see kind of what I had as far as classes. And Blood Elf and Humans, I have too many of, but that's because Death, uh, sorry, Demon Hunters can only be Blood Elves or Night Elves, so I kind of had to make a decision on that. Um, and then down here is all the things that my specializations were going to be doing. I probably won't change this, but it's annoying because I can level so much faster in Draenor or like Battle for Azeroth and I'm sitting here doing Burning Crusade with like a priest and it's terrible. Um, and then these are actually all things I don't need to worry about so I'm just going to delete them. I was trying to... Um, I was basically trying to just spin like a, a wheel and then whatever the wheel landed on that's what I would level but I, I don't want to do that anymore because it's... It's a little annoying. I'd rather just pick a character and be like, alright, this is what I'm leveling today. So the next sheet, and I'm sorry there's so many sheets, but this has been updated after almost a, a year, over a year and a half now. So this kind of goes off of this other spreadsheet right here. It just get, uh, takes the numbers from the bottom, just makes it a little bit easier to look at. So as you can tell, there's been 27,000 pieces added since the last time that I was doing this. Uh, which is a you know it's a lot. It's about twenty seven thousand. I mean it's not perfect. Again, it might be you know within a five thousand swing, but I have not obviously I didn't gain anything. I lost twenty seven thousand pieces. So I had to pick up on that, and I have everything ready to go until next year. So we'll keep updating this and pray that works out. Auction house things. These are transmog items throughout the world that I can buy off the auction house, and it's going to cost a little over ten million gold to buy the ones I have so far. Um, so hopefully they drop because I don't have 10 million gold and that sucks. And then these are just dailies. So simple enough. Things that I could do on a daily basis. If it's yellow, it means I'm going to pick a random alt and just say, all right, you're going to, every day I'm going to log out of you. I'm going to do this. 
If it's green, it means I can just grind it, which is generally going to be like my mage. Um, and then the red one is just difficult. You know, if, if someone out there hasn't gotten the Have We Met Achievement yet, I would love to do it with you because this is it's just a really crappy achievement that I should have gotten during Cataclysm, but I didn't. Okay, so let's shoot on over to my character screen just to show you guys my characters and we'll, you know, see what they look like. Alright you guys, so here is my main Cats Maniac. He is my favorite guy, obviously. Um, I just changed his transmog up yesterday. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with it. I'm definitely going to change his hair. Um, I don't like the pink anymore. And the hex weave mask is just something I found love with a long time ago, so that's what I'm going to be rocking. So as you can see, I do have a few of my mages here, all, almost at 60. But I only probably have like 5 or 6 60s of them if I'm lucky. I might even be right. So I have my mage here. Um, let me see what the 60s I have. I should have my druid. And then we should have... I think my hunter is like two levels away. I'll be getting that after I'm done with this video. And my evoker. So here's my evoker. Um, I will be posting my making of evoker video after you are watching this. Because it was, it was hard. I didn't really know, know how to make them. It was, I just I was having a lot of trouble. Because I was like, oh, like, you know, I'll make a little bit of purple in there. Because of my wife. And yeah, so going from there. I got my warriors also level 60. And I think that might be it. Yeah, so that's like, what, four? Four level 60s? This is the primal set. I actually don't mind it. It doesn't look too bad for warriors. So yeah, the, the plan is going to be to be getting some of these guys, you know, going to do daily throughout the days and the weeks, so I'm kind of unlocking stuff as we go. But that's it. So I hope to see you guys in Dragonflight. If there's specific content that you're looking for, or any comments, you know, you want to leave on the video as this channel is getting back up and running again, please let me know. Um, I'm looking forward to Dragonflight. I'm definitely promising myself I'm going to get into the content. It's just, you know, it's tedious, and I understand that, but so is grinding all this shit once the expansions are over. So, you know, I should have done that in the past expansions. I didn't, and um, that's it. So I hope you guys are enjoying everything you've seen so far, and I hope you guys enjoy the making of my evoker, because it was rough, and I, uh, I had fun with it. So I'll see you guys next week, and that's it. Peace. Hey guys, I did not want to make you guys sit through the making of this track there. I had trouble sitting through the making of this track there. I was so tired when I was making them. I think it was like four in the morning. Drac Theory had just come out, and I was like, oh, I gotta make him and get my name. So, obviously the basics of all this for people who don't know anything World of Warcraft is they're introducing a new class called uh, Drac Theory Evoker. Well, the class is Evoker. Um, race is Drac Theory. So it's just a dragons. The expansion's called Dragonflight, again, for those that don't know. So everyone's making their dragons. They only allow you to have one per server, which I'm not super happy about, but I'm okay with it. And I was just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with him because I was like, oh, like, you know, I'll try and make him, since you only have one, I was like, you know, I want to make sure that everybody sees him. It's like, oh, like, you know, this is a perfect character for, for Cats Maniac. So I was trying to put in, you know, blue for me, purple for my wife, maybe a little bit of pink here and there because, you know, I was trying to put in everything. So when I played on this character, I was like, oh, you know, they look like a character I'd make, basically. Um, other than that, you know, there really wasn't much. I did go through the starting zone with him, but that's not in the video. I'm sure you could look that up online. I apologize, but again, with how tired I was, I was just trying to get this done. Um, <laughs> so, I did enjoy it. I mean, I think I love the character, but there definitely are some character designs I wish they would have given you, like the human version. I wish I could have went a little more human with it. Um, they didn't really give you the options. Obviously, you'll see as I'm going through. I, I tried to kind of give him some scales, but I didn't want him to be scaly in his human form. I wanted to have a little bit, so that way it was like, oh, you, know, you could tell he's a drag there, obviously. Or, if, you know, whatever it is. But I wanted to make sure, like, he was a human. And I was a little bit, you know, I got a little bit crazy with it. I was like, you know what, fuck it. This dude doesn't even need clothes. Like, he's got some nice underwear. I was trying to put names out, so I was looking up, you know, 
what I should even name this dude, so I had Smog. I think I ended up going with, um, I, I know what the name I ended up going with, and obviously you'll see as we get there, but I was looking at a bunch of different names, and I ended up going with what I did because I think it was pretty cool. I had to throw in an accent over the A, which I know one of my friends hates when I do that, but that's just what it is. So I went with uh, Dragon. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm very excited to play this character again. So I will see you guys in the expansion, and enjoy your weekend. Peace.